Hey Plush fans, it's Caroline again, and welcome to another video here at Vogue Moon Locker. And it is that time again, Polish Pickup is right around the corner. It is coming up this Friday, and we are doing my Polish Pickup wish list. Now, the theme for this month was Guilty Pleasures, and the makers had a lot of fun doing a lot of sweets and candy themes and all kinds of different inspirations. So I thought we'd go over what I have on my wish list. Just to go over a brief overview of what is being offered this month, there are over 200 products, 109 polishes, 26 hand and nail products, 13 base or top coats, 17 bath and body products, eight waxes, 11 jewelry, and 14 miscellaneous. So there is a lot to see, and I've got eight items on my wish list. Now the first one is sort of a last minute addition, but I did see someone on the Facebook group rave about these, and this is the IMZ Nails Peel Ease. So this is a peel off base coat, and she was saying that these work really, really well for her. They are her go-to. So I thought for $6.75 that is definitely worth a try. I have been trying a number of different peel off base coats. Not that I've tried tried them, but I have purchased a number and tried a couple. So I thought that this one would be a nice one to try. There are 75 available, and like I said, it's $6.75, so definitely a good price. And this is a water-based, cruelty-free, peelable base coat for your nails to be used before applying regular and gel nail polishes. You can also use it to top coat your nail art before applying your usual top coat. It's non-toxic and kind to your nails, no drying out like other brands, and you can't varnish furniture with it. So this seems like it should be a pretty good one to try, so I'm excited to try that for that price. Next up on my wish list is another late edition. This one is Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. It's too pretty to eat. And this one is on my wish list thanks to, I believe it was the Polished Mage. So I saw her swatches of this and she mentioned Lisa Frank. And that definitely got me because this is very much reminiscent of Lisa Frank. You've got the bright popping colors against a black base and just such a beautiful mix. You can see uh, a whole bunch of different flakies, a whole bunch of glitters, and look at there, a whole bunch of hollow stars. So very cute uh, combination here. I thought this turned out really nicely and I really don't have anything else like it in my collection. Uh, I guess I should describe it. Um, it is a going for $12 and there is a cap of 160 and it is inspired by fancy cakes and it is described as a black jelly base with black and silver holographic micro glitters and a mix of four crystal chameleon flakies. And it definitely has a lot of different colors going on in those flakies. So those really play well off of each other. I really like all the different rainbow look that you have on the nail. And then those stars are going to be a nice little subtle addition. And I believe, no, this is not the one that comes with extras, but they're very cute. Cannot wait to play around with those. And like I said, this is a really fun sort of Lisa Frank inspired. So that was pretty beautiful unlimited. It's too pretty to eat. The next one on my wish list is Night Owl Lacquer, and this one is inspired by Lazy Days. And this one is $13 and has, I believe, no cap. And it is a blackened violet tinted base loaded with pink, green, gold shimmer. Look at how beautiful that is. This one is really beautiful, a little bit more subtle than some of the other sort of foiled shimmer polishes that I've seen. But look at that. It definitely has a contrast going on depending on the lighting that you're going to be in. And it is a beautiful, beautiful shimmer. I really like the purple to green shift. This is definitely one that caught my eye. So I think this is going to be a beautiful addition to the collection. And just look at that. You definitely get some beautiful shifts depending on, like I said, the lighting that you're in. So another one that, that I'm definitely excited to see in person. So that was Night Owl Lacquer's Lazy Days. Next up is another shimmer polish. I think I'm, I'm getting all of the shimmer polishes this time. This is from Nail Artisan Cosmetics. You want a piece of me? And this is $13 and a cap of $200. So this is inspired by Cadbury's Chocolate Wrappers and is described as a tasty plum purple base infused with smooth golden shimmer to really show off your sweet side, served with a delicious teal shift for that little something extra. This is a really beautiful sort of popping purple base and that shift in it is really really beautiful 
trying to find that picture that I saw that really sort of showed off the shift nicely. This is definitely getting there. You've got those beautiful shifts there. You can see what she's talking about towards the edges with that teal. This is a beautiful shot of it as well. You can see in the bottle there's a little bit of even blue going on. Definitely a beautiful polish. So cannot wait to see how this one compares to a few of my other shimmer polishes. I've definitely been picking them up a lot lately. And this is how it's going to look in sort of direct lighting. So you've got that beautiful berry tone sort of purple going on, which you know I'm a sucker for. It is a beautiful color. So that was Nail Artisan Cosmetics. You want a piece of me? Next up is another shimmer polish. This one is from KB Shimmer and it's called Everything is a -OK, and it is inspired by fresh cut flowers. And this one is described as a deep grape purple jelly nail polish. A strong green to blue shimmer accents the purple hue showing off a vibrant indigo blue in lower lighting. In brighter lighting, the green shimmers and shifts at angles into gold and royal blue, giving you a unique shimmering multi-chrome manicure that is sure to last longer than fresh cut flowers. So KB Shimmer definitely has a lot of polishes on my wish list. This one I think is definitely going to be one that I really need to grab. I get the feeling if I don't, when other people post their swatch pictures of it after receiving it, I might be a bit bummed that I didn't get it. It's got that color combination that I really love, that purple with that blue to green sort of shift in it. And KB Shimmers really does a good job with their shimmer polishes. There you go. There's that grapey purple with all of that beautiful shift. So this one is one of the must-haves that I added on my wish list for this month. Just definitely hits all the ticks on my wish list for colors and shimmers. So that was KB Shimmers. Everything is a bouquet. Next up is another shimmer polish. Switching it up from the purples this time, this one is a blue. This one is Kathleen & Co. and the name is Roku. This one is $13 with a cap of $400 and it is inspired by Roku TV. So it's described as a vibrant blue base loaded with color shifting shimmer and a light dusting of hollow. Look at how vibrant that color is. That is stunning. So you've got that beautiful shifting shimmer in there as well. Really beautiful color. And Kathleen & Co is another one of those brands that does shimmer polishes very, very well. So I'm excited to see this one in person. I think that base is gonna be really beautiful, sort of like a deep blurble really nice and this is a good one of that gold that you're going to see at some angles with that bright sort of aqua against the edge of the bottle so that is absolutely beautiful and another shimmer polish on my wish list this month so that was kathleen and co roku next up is one of the first ones that i added to my wish list when the uh, sneak peek pictures started showing up this one is esmaltis de kelly baby and it is inspired by spice girls baby spice and is described as a baby blue jelly with aurora shimmer pink to green and turquoise iridescent flakies this one has a cap of 600 and it will be 1250. look at that beautiful contrast between the base and those flakies and that shimmer this one was beautiful. I love the combination. I just can't get enough of these pictures. That blue base really bounces off the shimmers really well. So you've got a really neat contrast, warm against cool. I cannot wait to see this one in person. Again, I think I'm saying that for almost everyone. This is a really beautiful color and rather unique. I mean, I have a lot of light blues, but I think with all of the different shimmers and flakies going on in this, this one's gonna stand out from the crowd. So I'm really excited to see this one and try it out. It looks like this one is showing it over black as well as on its own. So you can tell that over a darker color, you're gonna get a brighter pop of that pink. But even on its own, that pink pops very, very nicely. So she did a really good job combining all of these ingredients to make a beautiful, beautiful polish. There we go. Beautiful flakies. How many times can I say beautiful? <laughs> so that was Esmaltis de Kelly, baby. And then last but not least on my wish list is one from Dom. And this one is called Lactose Intoler What? And it is $12.50 with a cap of $200. And it is inspired by a, ooh, let's say a taiyaki fish cake shaped cake filled with ice cream and topped with colorful sprinkles. It is described as a white curly with blue, pink, and yellow glitters. And it also has a slight pink 
to green shimmer in the base. In addition to the stars and heart glitters in the polish, this polish will come with a small baggie of placement stars and heart glitters. And I thought that was a nice little touch. So as you can see in here, you've got some, like a little heart there, a blue star down here by the tip of the nail. What I like about these is these are going to be small enough that they don't overpower each nail. Sometimes when you've got larger shaped glitters in the nail, they can be sticking up at weird angles because of their size. And if you've got smaller nails, that can really be a problem. But I thought the color combination on this was really fun and cute. There you've got another little blue star and another pink heart. So as you can see, they fit nicely on the nail. And the color combination, like I said, was just really fun. Definitely reminded me of desserts and sweets and spring and summertime. So I thought that this would be a really nice one to add to my Corelli collection. That if you've watched some of my other videos, you'll know that I'm slowly but surely growing, especially with white bases. So this was a cute one to add. That was Dom Nail Polish Lactose in Taller What? So there you have it. That was the eight polishes or eight items on my wish list. Let me know down below which ones were on yours. I know this month a lot of people were saying this was their biggest wish list ever. I'm actually a little surprised that I only ended up with eight items. Make sure to like and subscribe for more nail polish videos here on my channel and I'll see you next time.